Hello there. Um, in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how you can use the algorithmic strategy building tool for CTrader for tr sending trade signals instead of tr opening up and managing trades. So instead of automated trading, using the tool to create um, a CBOT that will automatically send trade signals like a telegram alert, email alert, or a pop-up window um, when certain events occur or when certain indicators um, are shown that you should buy or sell. I'm going to do this with demonstrating a relative strength index indicator, a very basic um, setup. I'm going to show you this first. So this will allow you to actually use it. And then at the end of it, it will create the source code for you that you can put into CTrader and you can tweak and add additional features. So I'm going to go ahead and start the CBOT. And when the window pops up, this is the tool. So we're just going to call the tool. We're going to call this strategy um, RSI Telegram Alerts. OK, and I'm going to write in the description, this CBOT will send Telegram alerts. Very simple. OK, and now the next thing I'll do is choose my indicators. So I want to choose a relative strength index indicator. I want the alerts to happen um, every five minutes. So in this case, every five minutes, if the price of the RSI goes above 70, it's going to um, send a um, bearish signal to say buy, uh, sell, sorry. And if the price drops below 30, it's going to send a signal to say buy. I'm going to add this indicator. It's added it to there. The trade rules are pretty simple. Um, I select the indicator, bullish signal. That's all I want for that. And you can resize these. I'm using my laptop. That's why I'm using a high, high resolution. That's why it's a bit off on the windows, but you can readjust them. And for the sell, I can do it again, a bearish signal. Save that. Now these two trade rules are very basic. It's just saying using the RSI indicator, um, we want a bullish signal of that indicator, which will be the um, when the price drops below 30, or the RSI drops below 30, and we want a bearish signal when it goes above 70. Uh, sorry, when it goes above 70. Yeah. So I've saved both of those. I go to risk management. We don't want any risk management because we're not um, opening trades. Go to trade actions. Yes, we are going to send trade alerts. We leave these unchecked because we don't want to open up orders. We just want to um, send trade alerts. Now, if you want to send an, an email, you type in um, your email address there. I can just put sales at clickalgo.com. And make sure we activate this. And Telegram alerts, I'm not going to put in my ID, but if I was to put my ID in my bot token, I would put them in there. Um, and then i will activate this. And if I want pop-up alerts onto the screen, I just check on there. OK, so now we've got. Um, our setup. So here it's very basic. It's just sending um, trade signals. It's stating that on a bullish signal on the RSI, um, send, a, send an email, a telegram, and a pop-up message. And again, when there's a bearish trade signal, it will do the same thing. Now what we can do is generate the code for it to look at the code. So if I generate the code here, it creates all the code that we need to use. I'll go through this code in a minute and show you it. I'll actually copy that code. I'll minimize this window. I'll go to a pre-built CBOT we created previously, which is nothing in it. I'm going to highlight all of that and remove it. And then I'm going to control V to copy it in. Now, if I scroll to the top, you'll see that it's actually created uh, the complete bot again. It's got access rights none. So it can send telegram alerts and emails with no access rights. You've got your CBOT parameters here, which is your email address, bot token, chat ID. I'll just quickly go through the code and then I'll show you the CBOT. Uh, we'll build the CBOT now, actually. I'm just building the CBOT. The little red dot should disappear in a minute. So if I scroll down here, it's got all the other uh, parameter settings. Now, this is all the code that's been created for this, for sending the, the alert, the um, trade rules, the trade signals. And then at the bottom here, if I go to the bottom, send trade alerts, and you can see it's already written out the code for you for sending these trade alerts. Um, for sending in Telegram, it's got all the code in there for sending a Telegram. So it does everything for you to send in Telegram alerts on trade signals. Now, if I open up a CBOT instance um, here, I would actually have to set this to five minutes. And then if I actually look at the code now, um, sorry, not the code, if I've built it, I look at the parameters. So I go to the parameter windows. So you can see here it's got um, preset parameters, my email address, pot token, chat ID, um, and also the indicator settings for buy and sell. So it's all in there. So if I play this now and run it, um, what it will do, it runs on a five minute time frame. So you could have a different time frame in here if you want. You could have um, one hour, but it will still use a five minute time, fr time frame in the code. So if I was to run this CBOT, it will actually um, wait until the RSI is above or below 30, and it will send a telegram and an email and also a pop up message. I think the pop up message was in there. Um, I'll just scroll down to have a look. I'm pretty sure it was. So you've got the email, the bot token, and you should get a pop up message. 
Oh, there it is at the bottom, show pop up. So it does that as well. So the co complete code is there. The reason it's useful to have the code is it allows you to go in and modify it. It allows you to add additional features. It also allows you to give this code to another developer or us. You can use our development service to add additional features um, and go forward that way. Now I'm going to go back to the actual um, strategy builder. So say, for example, I wanted to make this more complex. What I can do is go back to indicators. I can go to trend. I can also add a, a simple moving average. Now I want it when the relative strength index is above or below 30, and I want it when the relative strength index is, I'll show you in a minute if it's bullish or bearish or, or it crosses above or below another indicator. So I can do a simple moving average of um, periods of 14, and I want another simple moving average of periods of 100. Now, if I go to my trade rules, I've only got the one trade, I have to start with trade rules again. So I do the RSI, bullish signal, and I want to do the simple moving average 14 has crossed above the simple moving average 100. Now you can adjust these and on the, uh, if my resolution was 100%, this would automatically uh, do it for you. So here it's going to do, um, a bullish signal would now be the RSI has to be below 30 and the simple moving average 14 has to cross above the simple moving average 100. So it's a bit more complex. I'm just going to do a bullish uh, trade signal. So I don't want bearish trade signals. So I'm just going to leave this. I've got a risk management, nothing there. Trade actions, we've got the predefined settings already there. Review strategy, now you can just see we're only going to do a bullish trade signal. So if I go to generate code and generate, and you can see now that it's added um, the additional indicators. I'll do this just by copying this. I'll go back to our algo builder code. I'll remove that old code, paste the new one in. Now, if I scroll down, you, you'll see it. Sorry, if I scroll to the top, you'll see it's now got um, the SMA indicator plus the RSI. If you see here, it's declared them two simple moving average indicators and one um, relative strength index. Now, if I go ahead and build that and look at the parameter settings, you can see that it's added the additional parameter, set parameter settings. This is our RSI buy, and these are fast SMA buy and slow SMA buy. So this is just for a bullish signal. So you can use it that way. You can do bullish or bearish. But I hope you can see the power of this tool that you can use it for creating trade signals. And, it, and more than anything, it allows you to actually create the source code. So it dynamically allows you to create the source code that you can then go in and tweak and add to it and learn how to program, add additional features, um, and also pass this on to a development service like our development service if you want us to add uh, more and more features to make this a more robust system. Okay, that's all the demo I wanted to show you today. Thank you very much. If you do like the video, please give us a thumbs up. Thank you.